let's visit a Ukrainian home. We will look at Ukrainian traditional household items like Kumenets, Makitra, Makogon and Petrikivka paintings, along with a Ukrainian grandmother and her dog Brovko and cat Murka. The main story is illustrated and detailed by Alena Tarasova, based in Mykolaiv, Ukraine. And I am Victoria Romanishina from Kherson, Ukraine, here to tell you about my beautiful Ukraine. There are lived a dame with her dog and a cat in her old Ukrainian house. The cat was mild and loved. The dog was charming, naughty and very talented. In this series, there are 12 main videos. We use the time-lapse of the creation process to tell you about Ukraine. We also have several sub-series. One of them is Petrikivka paintings illustrating different berries of Ukraine. This time it is mountain ash. You see the painting framed on our wall. Each video will have a different berry Petrikivka painting. The time-lapse video, the main art and the Petrikivka painting are Alena's creation. We also have collections of drawings of flowers of Ukraine, animals of Ukraine and so forth. The flower for today is hollyhock, which is in the glass vase on the coffee table. The flowers including the vase is digitally drawn line by line by Dunya Dayanovi from Serbia. Please applaud her ability to show the transparency of the flowers. My grandmother used to use hollyhock in decorating food. Do you know that a hollyhock is completely edible? Roots, leaves and blossom. Grandma used to use it as a medicine too. Sometimes cats or dogs can be allergic to its steam, but likely Brovko and Murka we are not. Brovko and Murka are the most common names for dogs and cats in Ukraine. Today's guest artist is from Zemun, Serbia, and she is depicting her impression of Kyiv at night. Kyiv is the capital of Ukraine. A comprehensive collection of the whole story with tons of original art is available as a flipbook for anyone who wants to enjoy Ukraine. Similar collections are available as videos and flipbook for many other countries. Needed information is in the description. This is the story that all of you might already know as Old Mother Hubbard and her dog. The original story is said to have been set in England and was one of the most popular publications of the 19th century. We are turning it around and make it a Ukrainian story. For today, it is Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get her poor dog a bone. But when she came there, the cupboard was bare and so the poor dog had none. Old grandma's Ukrainian house is a special place. When you return to it, you feel young again, no matter how old you are. Comfort and warm memories surround you as soon as you cross the threshold of grandparents' house. The smell of childhood hits me, and stories that happened to me there in my Ukrainian village appear in my mind. You are hearing an Ukrainian artist playing sopilka. It is a woodwind instrument of the flute family used by Ukrainian folk instrumentalists. It is traditionally made of wood and has 6 to 10 finger holes. Their sizes vary based on whether it is bass, alto, tenor, soprano or sopranino. Bass and sopranino have the largest holes and most people's fingers will not cover the holes. To make a good sopilka, the maker would say, I have to find the right branch. When my grandmother was young, she had wealth and big family. But time passed, children grew up, grandchildren were born, children moved to big cities where they saw more opportunities for development. Grandfather passed away first and left grandmother alone. Her favorite dog Brovko and Kitty Murka made her cheerful company. As I mentioned, these are the most popular names for dogs and cats in Ukrainian villages. I am one of those grandchildren who moved to the city. Ukrainian cities are like cities everywhere. Everyone rushes to work. The roads are full of cars. There is noise and non-stop traffic. 
In Ukrainian, a cottage is хата. It is starts with X, but it sounds H. Say it with me. Хата. Wonderful. Хата it is. Rural Ukrainian kitchen is a place where there is always forms with hearty smells of fresh baked goods and steamed milk. As a child, my favorite treat was bagel with jam made from roses and fresh warm milk. Rose jam has a winter spin because most Ukrainian women believe that jam from roses petals tastes best in pampuhi at Christmas. Pampuhi is a Ukrainian Christmas dish. It is deep-fried dot buns with various sweet fillings in the middle. In an old Ukrainian house, you can often find unique household items, one of which is a loom. Grandmother wove carpets, clothes, towels and everything she needed for her home. She always has carpets underfoot and on the walls, which adds cuddliness and beauty. She still waves them for us for our birthday and festivals. They are much treasured by me, as all else is factionary made in our lives. An artist has digitally drawn a collection of Ukrainian rugs, which will be shown in a future video. In the city, I can't imagine my life without a washing machine. Hand wash? The thought causes my anxiety and sweat stands out on my forehead. But in their years, my grandmother with my great-grandmother had obviously no electricity, no powders with the smell of alpine meadows or ocean breezes and no convenient centrifuge that dries clothes. There was a huge vessel hollowed out of a tree trunk. Clothes were ashed. Hot water was poured into the barrel, a heated stone was placed and ashes were added instead of detergent. Then they took it to the river to rinse. In the warm period of the year, the clothes were dried outside in the cherry orchard near the house. Clothes soaked in the smell of uh, freshness. Now we are trying to recreate the feel taught factory products, right? Have to say life is much easier now, Todd. Jugs are a mandatory household item in a Ukrainian house. Ukrainians are very proud of their kumanets. This is a clay jug in the shape of an O. Various drinks are stored in it, which, thanks to the shape and material, keep a stable temperature for a long time. The drink acquires an interesting taste and either wear. You can verify this in practice because the kumanets are made by potters all over Ukraine even now. Of course, I have one too in my city apartments. Another fixture of my grandmother's kitchen was makitra and makogun. Grandma used makogun and makitra to mash everything. Grandfather helped because physical strait is needed here. Puppy seeds, grain, nuts or even animal feet were ground. People like me with uh, our home food processors and blenders are often called city child or balcony person. The appearance of Ukrainian woman has always been famous for its naturalness. My grandmother had long hair all her life, which she braided every day. The braid remains with her even now. Only the color changed from black to gray. In an Ukrainian house, the bench was a place of rest. When I was a child, my grandmother would hold me on her lap and sit on the bench and she would tell me Ukrainian poems. One of the favorite and most famous Ukrainian poems is Taras Shevchenko's work Testaments. Серед степу широкого на в країні милі, що блани широкополі і Дніпро і кручі, було видно, було чути, як реве ревучі. Now my grandma says she reads the poem to Brovko and Murka. No one dreams of a lonely old age. So take care and visit your loved ones more often. 
Please follow us on this trip to hear more about the many aspects of Ukraine and its people. Let me also leave you with two new words in Ukraine to say welcome and goodbye. Welcome in Ukrainian is Laskavo prosimo. Again, Laskavo prosimo. And goodbye is do pobachenia. Till next time, please check out the other videos about other countries too. Do pobachenia.